fucking good, man. Good. Yeah, man. It'd be crazy, bro. These niggas be super trash. And the only reason that they have anything in their chest, you know what I'm saying? That they could like really feel like they got support. It's because they got followers. They got streams. One second, let me get my water. Yeah, like I was saying. They got followers. People stream their videos. But deep down inside, your fans know you're trash. I shoot, you run. I get my gun. That's fucking garbage, bro. You can't rap, my nigga. Your career has a short shelf life. As soon as motherfuckers get over the fuckery, poof, you disappear. You go from a million streams with about maybe 200,000 of those paid for, back to 10,000 land with the rest of them. Okay? Because deep down inside, you know your music is fucking garbage. You know it, bro. You know it. When you go to the studio with Demand Them, they don't tell you. Okay? Because they want to get out the hood too. And you got a lot of followers. But your music is fucking garbage. It. I'm talking about really fucking garbage. Add Gutsy. Okay, we're gonna add. I can't see Gutsy. He wants me to pin. You know that the fans don't really don't fucking think that your music's hot. hot. Okay, we see. We see. Let me see who's watching. Let's not get that twisted. Oh, a whole lot of celebrities watching. Okay, this is time. We're super entertained, but we're not dumb. We know good music. A la Lil Baby, Lil Dirk, The Voice and The Hero. That shit goes hard. I know you like that. You ain't that. Your music's trash, bro. Face it. Okay, who else is... I want to ask Chromas, but I don't think she got good Wi-Fi right now. Who else I'm going to ask? Oh, Bunda. Okay, we're in here all night. I don't give a fuck who likes your shit. They're lying to you. Brad, Gotti, Gotti, let's go. Gotti, request. Yo, Bunda. What up? What's going on, dude? What are we doing tonight? Make sure to check out that Bunda interview on our dude, channel you're right the now. Speculations? What's the speculations now? So listen, a certain famous artist calls me on Snapchat yesterday saying Corey Litwin was preying, murder beats him and stuff. Don't worry, we're on Twitch. But this is going to go up on YouTube. Trust me. So, I'm scrolling through these Instagram screets. And let me know if y'all can hear me proper, proper. Okay? Comic gang strong. I stumble upon an Instagram live. Stop it, I'm lying. My notifications was on. And I seen a nigga that looked pressed. Super pressed. Because he fucked up his life. But you mad at me.
You want to call me a rat. But more than one of us know that you got paperwork in these streets. I'll put that on the side. So when it comes to this type of shit, where you're out here and you're a public figure and you're worrying about who's saying what about who, if you're so worried about what the fuck niggas say about you, then shut the fuck up and niggas will stop talking. If you don't give them news, then there's no news to talk about. Let me repeat that shit for y'all, okay? As a news media outlet. If you don't give them news, then there's no news to talk about. So when you go popping off at the lip, and myself, yes, I said myself, as well as dozens of other media outlets screen record you, don't complain. If it's a W, take the W. If it's an L, take the L and Kim. Keep it the fuck moving. What's good, you? There was a punch once upon a time when niggas is out here trying to get pages packed and all that bullshit. We all watched the Rock Boy Ninja video by now. The cat's out the fucking bag. I'm not worried about the fucking pages at this point now. We're on multiple platforms. And to me, if a nigga's getting other people's pages taken down, reporting their pages, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm way there? I'm gonna report your page. I'm gonna do a bunch of, get a bunch of things, people to report your page, even if they're bots. You know what I'm saying? To make sure that your page gets taken down. Isn't that ratting? I'm gonna rat your page out because you're not doing what I want. That sounds like ratting to me. There was a media outlet that did the same. They reported one of our videos. Salute to Gutsy Guts. He had his rant on the Six Views Uncut podcast. Available right now on all streaming platforms, by the way. And he said that the media outlet that I will not name was ratting. Because they reported our video. I didn't say, yo, chill, fam, that's not ratting. I said this. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Snoop Dogg meme. Right? So what's the difference? Let me know. What the fuck is the difference? Isn't that the rat calling the kettle rat? Talk to me, comment gang. Am I walling? Because if I'm walling, I'll just I'll, I'll, I'll take it back. I'm okay with being wrong. That's the difference between me and a lot of people. As a fucking mature individual, if I'm wrong, I'll admit it and I'll apologize. I was wrong. But if you out here getting pages taken down, to me, that's kind of ratting. So when you get up on this Instagram screets and try to call Big Mon Rat, 
you're out of pocket, sir. All out of pocket. You need to go to the washroom and check the mirror. And think to yourself, am I warranted to be saying all these things? With the things that are going on around in the streets about me? The things that people know about me? You really want to go at the media outlet? The nigga who was half crazy to quit a fucking corporate job and fucking plunge into this shit? Something's wrong with the world. Listen. There was a long space of time where I was like, I'm going to spare the youth way before all of this bullshit. I'm going to spare the youth because I want to see everybody win. And that still stands. I still want to see everybody win. But when you come to complete the fuck out of pocket, and I'm talking about before this, then you're on your own. And you could take it, you could take that how you want to take it, my nigga. end this on this because of the privilege of position that we've that been able to find ourselves in yo my nigga the mass home I've been able to be privy to a lot of information super because early Pat and he ran to Panama I've been able to catch a lot of information sometimes weeks before the things pop off in the news, okay? I hear things, people send me information via email. You know what I'm saying? And only 20% of what comes across my desk goes into these microphones, okay? I'm going to reiterate that. Only 20% of what comes across my fucking table goes into these microphones right here. The rest gets left on the cutting room floor. We'll talk about it in the group chat. So the amount of different things that were dropping down on this nigga's head top that I man protected this nigga from is a rap. Okay? The amount of content that we bleeped I'm just fucking spitting that we bleeped that we've omitted and not put up Things that people have said that we've cut out of interviews. That, sir, is a rap. You're on your own. I hope I made myself understood, yo. Anywho. Let's move on. <laughs>